shaped by glaciers and steeped in legend and about to be explored by me, this is Ireland's ancient east, history imprinted on the land. I'm here to uncover 5,000 years of history that has shaped Irish life. From Stone Age man to saints, scholars and high kings, their monuments, their castles, juxtaposed with nature's finest landscapes that have inspired some of the greatest poets and playwrights in the world. Built by Stone Age farmers and engraved with megalithic art, this tomb is older than the Egyptian pyramids. For one day every year, this passage and chamber line with the rising sun at the winter solstice. Absolutely magical. When in Kilkenny, go with the flow. Take a kayaking tour. Right, Charlie, where are we going? All right, Richard, let's head on into the city. All right. We're going to check out the castle. We're going to go to the cathedral, St. Canis's. We might go and take in Roth House. Or we might just go and have a few pints. Grand. Take in the sights like Kilkenny Castle, built by the Normans, from a whole new wet perspective. Wow, that is a grand view. It is, isn't it? I'd like to go back in time for a day and see what shenanigans went on in there. Yeah, I'd say it was interesting times, all right. Explore the landmarks like St. Canis's and its round tower, Black Abbey and Medieval Mile. Recently unearthed, this 12th century town had its own courthouse, a tannery, plus 14 taverns. So Joe, please tell me what we're looking at here. Now you're looking at one of the best recorded towns in the world. The name of the area is Gerpines, and Gerpines is Latin, and what it means is the crossing of the river. What's that tower? That right? tower, that's what I would call that now is the boss's house. Can we go and have a look? Okay, come along, I'll show you. Well, now, this is the jewel in the crown in Gerpine Park. Who's buried this here? Is no less than the most famous man that ever lived, St. Nicholas. The St. Nicholas? The St. Nicholas. This is one of the main reasons we opened Gerpine Park to the public, because we felt this was so important as it had to be shared with the world. I didn't know there were so many countries in the world until the people started coming here. <laughs> This palatial home has some of the most exquisite gardens in Ireland, acclaimed by National Geographic as among the top three in the world. Five thousand years of history come to life to tell the tale of the people of Ireland. If you think you already know this epic story, think again. This is Ireland's ancient east. <laughs>